thank you so much for clicking into this video my name is crystal welcome to my channel and today i am back with another haul video you guys i am trying to get ready for valentine's day so i went to rainbow and got a bag this bag right here and so i am going to show you guys what i picked up so this is going to be my pretty in pink for Valentine's Day. I got a couple of outfits to show you guys. Um, I have two outfits that are more dressy. If you want to go like on a really nice restaurant date night, um, somewhere really fancy. And then I have one outfit that's really like if you and Bay or you're just going with the girls or you're going by yourself to like a movies real casual. You can wear some sneakers but still look really cute. So if you're interested in my pretty and pink Valentine's Day looks, keep on watching. All right, you guys. So the first outfit is just going to be this really cute tulle skirt, um, kind of like tutu style skirt and basic blush teeth. So the skirt is actually coming off on camera like a um, off-white. You can't really tell what the color is, but it's a really, really light blush pink and it just uh, has this here it is I don't know if you guys can tell but the color is not really coming off on camera how it should but it's a really really light blush and it even has on the tag that it's blush so let me just show you guys that see it has the color right here it just has that color right here that it's a blush pink and so I really thought this was so cute I love the pearl detailing that's on here it's so cute now it does have two lines of the tool so it has this top layer of tool that has the pearls on it and then you also get the lining on the inside, which you guys can see in the video. It's kind of short. So I guess that's how they wanted it to be. Because if you can see here, the lining is shorter than the actual tool itself. And because of my body shape, because I do have thighs, hips, and butt, it hiked it up even more. So yeah, I really love this skirt. I love the elastic waistband. You can see that I wore it high waisted just to kind of give it that um, cinched effect on the waist and then so I just paired it with this basic tee and this is also a blush color but you can actually um, this is more of like a deep blush pink or like a mauvey pink color so I think it's okay to match those colors I think it re went really well and so I just got this tee in a 3X. Actually, it's saying mauve, so yeah. So, but it's still a shade of pink, so yeah, this is a mauve. And I like this tee um, just because it has that deep V-neck. So yeah, it's just a basic tee. But the one thing that I do like about it, um, you can also wear this t-shirt with jeans. Of course, you can wear any t-shirt with jeans, but it has this split detailing on the side that comes up just at like your waistline, so it'll fold over. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's kind of like a dolphin cut. It's kind of like a dolphin cut, and it has this split right here on the side that kind of opens you up. So if you do have a butt or a belly, either one, because I got both, um, it'll cover you up. So that's that outfit. I really like it. I also, you can also see that I paired it with uh, some new wedges that I had. They're not very high. They're probably like two or three inch wedges. Um, probably more on the two inch side because I have some three inches and they're a little bit bigger. So yeah, they're probably like some two inch wedges. I'm not really a big heel person, but I thought that would really go cute with this, uh, with these blushes. So I paired it with those new shoes. So I really like it. I hope you guys let me know what you guys think about this outfit in the comment section. 
so we're going to move on to the next outfit now this outfit is more sexy in my opinion just because of how I paired it these items were hard to find and hard to pair together when I was in a store the skirt I gravitated to immediately I saw it on the rack and I gravitated to it immediately but trying to figure out what to pair with it was the hard part because they had so many different styles of shirts. I didn't know if I want to go casual and dress it down or make it more dressier. So, I, as you can see, I went dressy. And this skirt, you guys, is gorgeous. So, I don't know if you can tell, but this is just like a slip material, or like a saggy slip material. And it is really long. So, um, it's supposed to be like if I were to stand up I think it's supposed to come like a midi length but because again like I said I have thighs hips and butt um, it hiked up the skirt a little bit and so I wasn't able to get it right on my waist it came like a little bit under my bust line was where I had to pull it up to so if you look in the video once I turn around it is more um, hiked up in the back slightly just because of that so if you have a smaller butt and hips than me, then um, it will probably come to like a midi length and like a, I am 5'8 for reference. So you can see that it came just above the knee, which I think is fine. Um, I was able to camouflage the extra part of the material that um, was just under my bust line with the peplum top and I'll get to that later. This skirt has an elastic waistband so it's really stretchy in the waist but that's the only place that it has stretch because of the type of material that it is. The rest of it, it looks like it's, I mean, it looks like it has stretch on camera but once I had this bad boy on like, like here we go you can't see there's not really any stretch at all no give there's no lining in here and um, the material saying that it's 100% polyester so that's why I don't have any stretch honey but this um, I like the the way that it has that shine to give it that satiny look so I wouldn't have thought that this was a, a polyester but it just looks more like satin so it's really cute. I love the color. Yeah, I really did like this skirt. And so it is actually saying that it's a rose color. And this was skirt, this skirt was $17.99. So it's really cute. I'm sorry you guys, I forgot to tell you how much the price was on the other items. So this uh tool skirt was $24.97 and the um that mob T was $7.99. So I'll, um, I'll actually um, list all the items in the description box below. If I can find the items also on the website, I will link them there too so you can find them. Um, I'm not really familiar with Rainbow's website, but if I can find the items on the website, I will link them down. So moving right along, with that rose colored uh, skirt, I just paired it with this peplum top. And it's, uh, I like the white. Um, I kind of feel like it should have been more toned down. Um, I don't wear a whole lot of white tops in this style, like really dressy tops, um, unless I'm going to like a white party, an all white party or something like that. This top is $16.99 and I got it in a 3X. Okay, so I have mixed emotions about this top. I love the neckline, I love the peplum. Um, and that it has that kind of like overlapping peplum look. The only thing that I kind of am iffy about is the shoulder. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like a blouse style, puffy style shoulder. I don't know if it was supposed to be more puffy, like more scrunched up right here on the shoulder, but it just kind of lay flat and overlap on the rest of it. And as you can see, it is a see-through material and it's a sheer material um, let me just look on the tag and see what it says that it's just saying poly 97 96 percent polyester and four percent spandex i don't know i still i really have mixed emotions you guys if you uh watched any of my in the dressing rooms or try on or anything like that 
I love a cinched in waist and this does. You you can if you like a cinched in waist and to cover up like your um, midsection area, you can never go wrong with the peplum, which I love. I do love this peplum. I love the neckline, like I said. It's just I love the concept, but the execution kind of fell flat for me. So yeah, I'm probably not gonna keep this out for you guys. Like I said, I do love the concept of it or the thought behind it, but the execution I didn't really like. So yeah, this is pretty much gonna be going back. Look at this. It has those. I don't know if you can see. It has the um little strings hanging out so little things like that for quality kind of matters to me you guys but I really really do like this outfit um, like I said concept but delivery execution didn't really like so the last and final outfit which I don't know here lately with all my videos I think I've been saving my best outfits for last because and maybe because I'm more of a casual type of person and I don't get dressed up a whole, whole lot. Like, I will. I love to dress up, but I don't do it. Um, at this point in time in my life, I don't really care too much about dressing up. I like being comfortable. So, this dress is a ribbed material, a ribbed bodycon. And so, again, like if you watch my tour it in the dressing room, and I tried on that beige bodycon. I didn't like that at all. I didn't like that um, how it looked on my body. But I, when I went into Rainbow, I was like, okay, you have to keep an open mind. Maybe it was just that bodycon. So this is another bodycon. I love the colors in here. And to much to my surprise, I really like this. Like, um, now I don't know if it's because I did. I, so in this video, I did have on a shaper penny, but it wasn't like a suck you in type shaper penny. It's just like a smoothing shaper. Um, that's pretty much all I wear. Like, um, no need in trying to suck it in because it's not going anywhere. Uh, it's gonna, well, it is going somewhere, but it, right now, for right now, it's still there. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wear is the shaper. I love this color, how it has the different hues of pink. It just has all the hot pinks and fuchsias. I think this is kind of look like a um, muted burgundy kind of. Um, that's the effect that it gave off. Um, and the light pinks and the blushes. These are actually like light pinks. This is not really white. Well, I don't know, it might be white. Um, just because it's next to that uh, pink, it kind of makes it look like a light blush. But I really, really love it here. You, you can really tell the colors there as I stretch it out. But as you can see in the video, I just paired it with my Adidas tennis shoes. And I really love the fit. Like, this might be a keeper. This dress was $19.97. So I think for... 20 bucks this could be a keeper because I do plan on also shopping my closet you guys I have so many clothes so I think I want to shop my closet for my Valentine's Day outfit and maybe switch it up for something put some things together that I've never tried before to kind of make some new outfits um, so if you're interested in that I will have that video uploaded this week for you guys I really do love the rib material and it is actual thick ribbing and it's more like a sweater dress material too but it is really cool because it's lightweight even though it, it is a sweater dress material and that it's a tank top so um, of course we're still in February so we never know what the weather is going to be like even though this is a tank top dress so what I did is I just paired it with this jacket and it's more it's a windbreaker style jacket it is $19.97 as well and I got it in a 3x I love this hot pink you guys I don't know it just stands out so much I haven't actually owned a windbreaker since high school <laughs> since high school um, but that's when 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 that's when windbreakers were in try to say that three times when windbreakers um, so, and then I love the detailing. They went all out. It has the snap buttons on the pocket. You can see me kind of fumbling with that. I didn't realize it had the button pocket. 
so it just has that snap button pocket and you are able to zip it up it just has the zip ring right here um, yeah I, I really really like it I think for a casual night like if you're just like I said going to the movies or like if you're just gonna go chill at Bay's house or whatever this would be a really cute outfit just if you're gonna have a night in or a casual night out this This color, you guys, I love this color. And it just has this hoodie, windbreaker style all over. Now, I wasn't able to zip, like, I can zip it up, but I would have to wear it more like a crop jacket in order for me to zip it up just because of my, um, I have a um, larger tummy, so I would have to wear, if I was to zip it up, I would have to wear kind of like a crop jacket, which um, it also looks cute too, wear, uh, worn as a crop. And so here's how it looks zipped up. It just has that black. So I think it pairs really well. This hot pink is not actually a pink that's in the dress, but I think because it has the same different color pinks in the dress, this adds another layer of pink. So you guys, that is all the items that I picked up. I really hope you guys like my pretty and pink for Valentine's Day look. Let me know which items you guys like the best down in the comments section, all of the pieces, or which individual piece you like the best, even if you didn't like them together. I still want to know. If you're not already, this is your time to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Before you leave this video, give this video a big thumbs up and look out for more on my channel. Until the next time, live your life, sis. Bye, guys. A empty hearts and neon lights. The playing with my mind. Gotta get out of fear.